Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa performed today the funeral prayer for the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Mosque in Rafah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also performed the funeral prayer along with senior members of the royal family, senior officers of the Bahrain Defense Force, Interior Ministry and National Guard. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر اللهم الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله His Majesty the King then received condolences in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the demise of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa from senior members of the royal family. They offered to His Majesty the King the deepest condolences, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in vast paradise, protect His Majesty the King and bless him with good health and happiness. His Majesty the King thanked them all for their sincere condolences, sympathies and noble feelings, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in vast paradise. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended today the funeral of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at the Al Hniniya Cemetery in Rafah. Also present were senior members of the royal family and senior officers from the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince received the condolences of senior members of the royal family and in turn expressed his profound gratitude for their compassionate and sincere sentiments.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks and gratitude from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressing deep loyalty and great gratitude for the valued royal trust and his appointment by His Majesty the King as Prime Minister. His Royal Highness Prince Salman pledged His Majesty the King that upon assuming the responsibility of carrying out the government action and all the national tasks entrusted to him by His Majesty, he will continue fulfilling His Majesty's aspirations and visions to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process. The development process for which His Majesty has laid the foundations will have positive effects on the nation's steady prosperity across all fields and will consolidate development and welfare for all citizens. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Commander in Chief of the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The BDF Commander in Chief expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of His late Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Al Azhar Al Sharif Grand Imam Dr. Ahmed Muhammad Ahmed Al Tayyib on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Sheikh of Al Azhar expressed sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The Turkish President expressed heartfelt condolences to His Majesty the King over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and vast paradise. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Turkish President for his feelings. His Majesty the King also received a cable from Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The Turkish President expressed to His Majesty the King deepest condolences and consolations on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Pakistani President Dr. Arif Alvi on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He expressed in his cable sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Bangladesh, Muhammad Abdul Hamid, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Bangladeshi President extended sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of condolences from Nicaragua's President Daniel Ortega and from Vice President Rosario Morello on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Prince Charles of Wales on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Lebanese Prime Minister designate Sa Saad Al Hariri on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He expressed in his cable sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of late His Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Japan, Yoshido Soga, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from Omani Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He expressed in his cable sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul for the late His Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, received a cable of condolences from the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He expressed in his cable sincere condolences and consolation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness in vast paradise. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, received today a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of the Russian Federation, Mikhail Mishostin, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he extended his deepest condolences. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Prime Minister designate of Lebanon, Saad Al Hariri. During the telephone call, Al Hariri extended his condolences to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince thanked Al Hariri for his condolences and sympathies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Japan, Yoshide Soga, over the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which the Japanese Prime Minister extended his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Thailand, General Prayot Chan Cha, on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he expressed his sincere condolences. A lowering ceremony for the United Nations flag took place yesterday at the UN headquarters in New York to mourn His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. The spokesperson of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, expressed condolences on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He said he was deeply saddened by the announced demise of the late prince and recalled his historical record and the role His Highness played in the comprehensive development process in the kingdom. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa accumulated a number of undeniable government achievements and accomplishments in the field of education. His efforts have led to the spread of education and the eradication of illiteracy. He found that nations are built with knowledge as it is the only means by which the aspects of life could flourish. The late prince took pride in reading books as he is an avid and knowledgeable reader a full advocate of the importance of building nations with the foundation of science and learning. He is the one who said, wealth alone does not build a developed society, but concern for human resources and enabling them to use the means of science and knowledge are the foundations for building an advanced society. So he ensured the availability of education for everyone. Over the years, he accumulated a number of undeniable government achievements and accomplishments, led with wisdom and ability, until His Royal Highness became the inspiring teacher and supporter of the educational process. Since assuming the presidency of the government, and in light of the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain has become a beacon of science and culture, where the people of the kingdom receive high-quality education. Those who follow the march of the country will always find his constant keenness to stand in the front line with his sons and daughters and provide them with unconditional support. The schools and universities of Bahrain will always remember the milestones achieved by the late prince. Each student and teacher recalls fondly his motivating words and his unlimited support for advancing educational development. The late premier established the principle of excellence. He always sought to adopt programs to create an atmosphere that stimulates creativity in students and academia, which was witnessed through His Royal Highness's permanent sponsorship of graduate honoring ceremonies of all ages. His Royal Highness always affirmed that outstanding students are the foundation for building a developed society and will contribute to building a bright future for this country both in terms of work achievement and upholding the nation's renowned reputation. His Majesty the King believed that education is fundamental for the development of society. Therefore, the government, led by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman, worked towards implementing developed programs and creating modern educational policies in keeping of the changes the world is witnessing and continuing technical development in all fields including the National Higher Education Strategy, Bahrain School Development Programs, Vocational Education Training Programs, School Performance Improvement, Education and Training Quality Authority, Teachers College, and the Khalifa bin Salman Award for Excellence in Educational Performance. The late prince left behind a record full of accomplishments and tangible achievements for Bahrain and its people, and for that, we will forever be grateful.
The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa created all the appropriate conditions for the press and the media and for their development. He also paid attention to the citizens' issues and complaints that were raised in local newspapers in light of the freedom and openness enjoyed in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The late Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, was always keen on providing the appropriate atmosphere for the development of the press and the media. The Bahraini press throughout its long history was and remains a main and influential pillar that reflects the rich history of the nation's development in a way that contributes to the country's development march. The unlimited support came in line with the path of comprehensive and continuous developmental achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The late prince was also keen on interacting daily with the publications of the local press and following up on the affairs of citizens, their complaints, and constantly meeting their needs. The pillars of professional journalism were established under the Great Reform Project of His Majesty the King, which was greatly supported by the late Prime Minister to build a conscious generation that follows the same path and preserving the noble message and values of the press. The late prince made the interests of the homeland and the citizen the priority, which he always emphasized in his meetings as he constantly directed officials to the importance of communicating with the press and responding to the questions they raised. He also called for the need to adhere to the noble values of journalism of objectivity and credibility. <laughs> ليس بالأمر الغريب عليكم أنتم أهل البحرين أشكركم جميعا وعاهدكم أن نكون دائما معكم وأن نتواصل تتواصل جهودنا من أجل حاضر ومستقبل البحرين as a tribute to the press, the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman created an annual award so that it continues to play its role in identifying the citizens' problems and concerns with all honesty and responsibility, in addition to defending the nation's gains, strengthening national cohesion, and educating the public on national, regional, and international affairs. The late prince also paid constant attention to the role of journalism in decision-making and communicating the true picture to government officials and considering what is written as a guide to the state's ministries and institutions to follow in order to achieve development and prosperity for the country and its citizens.